Hello dear students, confused regarding which attempt you should target, the January attempt or the April attempt? Well, let's try to find an answer to this confusion by looking at the data from the previous years. All right. So my uh, attempt would be to help you make this decision. Uh, as of now, which attempt do you think you want to target? I want you all to, uh, you know, write on a piece of paper that what is your answer right now? Okay, that which of the these two attempts you should be targeting and we'll see whether uh, there would be the right decision or not. Okay, so guys, uh, January attempt, the dates are, you know, 22nd January to 31st Jan. That is the typical dates that we get. Okay, and April attempt, generally the exam happens in the first eight days of April month. So we know that. Okay, so these are the timelines of the exam. Now, if we look at the number of students who registered for the two attempts, you will notice that in January attempt, there are less number of students as compared to the April attempt. That was the number in 2003. And if we look at the corresponding number of 2024, okay, uh, that was 2023. Okay, this is 2024. So again, the number of aspirants increased in the April attempt. Okay, and I, I think that's logical also because uh, by January, there would be some students whose syllabus is not done and they might want to, uh, you know, directly attempt for the, uh, you know, uh, April attempt. So that's why we, we can see that. So the number of students who register is more in April attempt. Now, if we look at a mapping of percentile at different marks, you will see that in Jan attempt, this is the data for 2024 last year. So at 241 marks, we got 99.99 percentile and the same percentile was obtained at a much higher marks uh, in the April attempt. Okay. And this trend is actually valid for all the percentiles. You see, for 99 percentile, uh, it was obtained at marks of 192 and then uh, in April attempt, the same percentile was obtained for 199. Uh, 98 percentile was obtained for 168 and the same percentile was obtained at a higher marks in April attempt. 97 percentile was obtained at 154 and the same percentile was attained at a higher marks in April attempt. So that is the data for 2024. Let's see whether the same trend is there in 2023 or not. So 241, 243, marginally higher. 173, 182, significantly higher. 142, 160, 12 marks difference, that is significant. 133 to 146, that's almost a 10 percent increase. Okay, like 133, 10 percent of that is 13. 30.3, 30 that's, that's the difference. Okay, so the students are getting, you know, more and more intelligently represented. What is happening here? Okay. Uh, if we go back one more year and we check 2022 data, same trend is there. Same trend you can see. All right. So there is something definitely systematic that is happening because uh, if the same trend continues, then obviously there should be a reason for that. Uh, so if we try to think about the reason, uh, can we say that uh, the April attempt papers are easy as compared to the January attempt and therefore the students are getting more marks? Well, I don't think so because the questions are framed from the same pool. Uh, I don't think that there, there is any difference in the level. Okay. So um, are the students performing better in the April attempt? Well, it looks like the reason, you know, the, if we if, I, if we are saying that the paper is same, paper difficulty level is, uh, remains the same, then obviously the students are doing much better in the April attempt and there has to be reasons for it. Okay, and if you start thinking about those reasons, uh, see, in January attempt, you have pressure of boards, like majority of the aspirants are 12th graders and they have to deal with practicals and the board exams and the pre-boards. So, you know, their mind is cluttered, their time goes into different, different things other than JEE main and obviously uh, they are under the pump. That would be the first attempt when they would be writing the JEE main examination. So, that also plays its role in, in you know, bringing out the performance. Okay, uh, sometimes the students are actually feeling complacent also because they know that if they don't do well in the January attempt, they have the April attempt. So, they are complacent also. All right. So, January attempt, uh, the lot of distractions are there. And when we talk about the April attempt, okay, uh, this time you have less distractions, you don't have any board pressure, okay, you have already attempted the exam once, so many, many of the students are a bit more confident regarding the process, how to go into the examination or what to wear, what is going to happen there, and uh, they have experienced the stress of the examination once. So, we can expect that they would perform better this year. Like, um, also, the fact that this would be their last chance to appear in J-Main for that, that particular year, that also probably helps them, you know, helps the students study better. Like, the complacency is not there. They know that this is probably their final chance if they don't want to take a drop. And, of course, uh, I think that one of the other reasons is that uh, in between January and April attempt, we, Iklava comes into picture. It Obviously, we train our students well, and that shows in the result also, that shows the marks also. And I think that is true for everyone. Like, the student gets more time to study, they are bound to improve. So, that definitely happens. So, looking at all these things, guys, if I believe, like, if I have a set of students who I want to prepare for J advanced examination, my advice to those students would be that they should consider J January attempt as their final attempt. Like, they should at least try... Uh, to, you know, to, to get into that mode where they can treat the January attempt as the final attempt and they should write the exam accordingly because there is less competition at that time because major, major, majority of the students are not very well prepared, okay? And we can actually make use of this by preparing ourselves better than what we would be doing, um, you know, 
if we ignore that the other students like you know that there would be less competition so you would want to capitalize on that okay so uh, this is what we have been doing and this is what actually improves the marks of the student uh, in, in j advanced examination that that's that's the core philosophy of eclamer program okay so uh, I would suggest that you treat the January attempt as, as your primary attempt or as your principal attempt where you are going to secure such a good percentile that you will not have to worry about the second attempt. Rather, you can use the second attempt as a gamble. You can actually then go for a perfect score, for which means if you are not able to you know find the answer to one or two questions, maybe you can try going for random guessing because even if you lose some marks and your percentile drops, the question of the good percentile from the first attempt will be there. And if you do get it right, then you will probably, you, you have a chance to get the perfect score. So uh, what I suggest to the student is that Go give your best shot in the first attempt, score a good percentile, then focus on J advanced examination, you know, to keep preparing for that. Write the second attempt, but as a gamble. You go there, you try to, you know, attempt all the questions. If you, Even if you don't know the answer to one question or you're not able to find the answer, you know, mark something and come. You know, go for a random guess. Who knows if you're, you know, if you're, uh, random guess, uh, you know, it hits the bullseye, then you can end up with a perfect score. All right. So guys, that, that would be my advice for you guys. I hope that brings some clarity to your thought process. And on that note, I will end this session. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.